attacker shows up and reaches into the car, tries to take away the ignition keys. This is maybe a first reaction of a normal person. And this is power struggle. It will not help much. So once more, a much better reaction would be to use the steering wheel as a fulcrum and press the arm against the uh, steering wheel and then engage the fingers, attack the fingers. He cannot pull away the arm like that. Or I can change the grip and just break the fingers and start to drive away and get out of the situation. So I'm here. Now I can grab him, pull him more into it, into the car. And now I can open the door and still have a joint lock and can use here the frame of the window as a, as a tool uh, for my joint lock. <laughs> and I just can hold him like that. It's difficult for him to do something. And I can also change here and bring him down in a very classical manner, what we do very often in our training. Okay, from another perspective, this is the first reaction, not so satisfying. Yeah, I cannot stop him like that. And much better it is to go here and press the arm against the steering wheel. And here I engage the fingers again and can control him. I can even do here a nice joint lock, like a udegarame. Yeah, by turning the wheel and can drive away like that, maybe. <laughs> and uh, still control him like that. I can really punch the arm. I can really do a lot of damage and pain to him. Other situation could be he's grabbing me by the throat and uh, threatening me and I react that way. Also very simple, out of our training and control his arm and uh, attack the fingers again. Maybe he can try to do something with the other hand and I can open the door and further control him like that and get out of the car and end the situation for him. All right. So here you see how I control the arm by pressing the arm against the door and I can start to punch, can also get the other arm and overextend that as well. And But main target is to do a self-defense and secure him, beat him up, and flee the situation as soon as possible. As you see, how, here you see how I uh, use the, the handle, and I pull him into the technique, and the door I push outwards with a kick with my left leg here, and I have a nice control on him, and still have a hand free to engage him. Get out of the car, still controlling him, and again use the frame of the window, of the door, uh, to hurt him more. Safety tip for every day. You, there comes up a person, you don't know that person, you don't know what this person wants from you. Open the window only a little bit. Maximum like that, maybe even less like that is better. You can talk with the person, but the person cannot reach into the car. Like that, you open all possibilities for the other guy. Uh, he can uh, also give you maze, he can reach into the car and can do a lot of stuff. It's too much. He, he comes too close, attack him if the situation needs it. Don't wait that he's uh, uh, going into the car or grabbing into the car. So now he opens the door and grabs my, my uh, neck and immediately I can react that way. Yeah, It's like a kata ikomi. And here, when he opens, I immediately attack. We had that already in a in a other video, like that. He is uh, still uh, managing the door, as you see, and I immediately attack. I keep the initiative. I don't wait what he wants from me, and I can do a lot of nasty stuff with him. And this is uh, what we do always always in the training. <laughs> 